Hi, my name is Charles Chi. I'm a senior design architect in Cadence IPG. Today is my last session about the, the subject of functional safety. I'd like to go over the active safety features that people should consider for our IP and how our IPs are implementing those features. So in the previous sessions, we already know the, the, the impact and requirements of the uh, uh, ISO 262662 standard uh, on automotive functional safety. We also have seen the benefit of having the protection features, protection mechanisms in the IPs that would help us meet the, the, the standard requirements easier. Let's talk today specifically about the functional safety features that uh, people should consider for their design. In general, based on our customer requirements, we're seeing a set of uh, safety uh, uh, mechanisms uh, people are often requiring for us to consider in the IPs. First, uh, for, first thing first is the memory protection by ECC or parity. Um, we're often being asked to provide data pass protection using parity to protect the data and address bus. It is often uh, required by customers for us to offer critical state protection, uh, such as the configuration registers, the finite state machines, and so on and so forth. In addition, we will have to have some exception detection capabilities in some of our IPs. For example, adding watchdog timers to detect a lockup of data paths and so on and so forth. And then in addition to the protection mechanisms, we also have to provide uh, failure uh, reporting notification and failure recovery mechanisms. These are typically done by uh, interrupts or by, uh, you know, in a recovery, we're using software or hardware controlled reset or self-correction mechanisms in the IP. In ADAS systems, we're seeing most commonly used IPs like uh, our Vision DSP processors, our automotive Ethernet Mac controller, our PCIe controller and DDR controller, and so on. Uh, in all of these IPs, we provide um, certain levels of uh, protection mechanism that are already built into the IP. So for example, for our Vision DSP processor, we have protection of the local data RAMs and caches for memory. Uh, we also have uh, you know, basically some uh, exceptional exception detection capability, uh, some state protection capability, and also having the, uh, the interrupt, uh, high, uh, high priority interrupt capability and we're considering adding the data pass protection as well. Automotive Ethernet Mac has the most advanced uh, active protection mechanism uh, built in. We have protection of the memory, the data pass, you know, the, uh, the state configuration registers, and time stamping unit. We also have uh, you know, basically failure notification and recovery mechanism in place. Similarly, for PCIe controller, we also have implemented the memory protection and data pass protection. There's already built-in built protection mechanisms that are required by the PCIe standard for reliability that are in the link layer and, and, uh, and the transaction layers. So those are being supported as well. The uh, standard also de defines uh, advanced uh, exception notification mechanism, so we're implementing that. For DDR controller, again, we are protecting the data paths all the way from the, uh, the system interface down to the core level. You know, we are, we are offering uh, you know, certain exception uh, detection capability, but most importantly, we're adding uh, the inline ECC capability to protect the memory banks. With that capability, we're offering data protection as well as certain levels of protection on the addresses. And obviously, there's also exception uh, uh, report and recovery mechanism as well. So when the IPs are evaluated, we take into consideration these uh, active safety mechanisms. Um, we generate basically the, uh, the report uh, when the, uh, the safety mechanisms are in place. And then we put together a safety uh, um, package for the IPs to be integrated by our customers. That includes the safety manuals, the protection mechanism description, and also a comprehensive FMEDA and, and FMEA report. And you know, in Cadence, we are, we are actually committed to help our customers uh, uh, achieving successful products for automotive applications. Not only we're doing these for uh, enhancement for our IPs, but also we're making a lot of enhancement to our tools to help automotive design. For more information, please visit us at our website at www.cadence.com. Thanks for watching.
See you next time.